Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss the different types of drag and to discuss the factors that influence drag. So there's two main types of drag that we have. Um, they sum together to give us our total drag acting on a body. And those two types are our viscous drag and our pressure drag. So firstly, our viscous drag, um, that is a factor of drag which is associated with the friction of a fluid on a surface. So that occurs parallel to a surface and that's essentially related to our wall shear stress tau w and to get that force we simply multiply by the area that it acts over. The next type of drag we have is our pressure drag. That's essentially associated with the um, pressure caused by the resistance as a, as a fluid hits a surface normally here. So that's going to be related to our pressure and our area. So to work out the total drag acting on a body, um, that's going to be related to um, the actual components of our fluid velocity acting in the parallel direction uh, to, to our body here. That's going to give us our viscous drag and then perpendicularly or normally to our surface to give us our pressure drag component. So the viscous drag force, uh, DF, that's equal to the integral of the wall stress, shear stress sine theta dA, so taking the integral of our shear stress times by sine theta to get that component parallel to the surface um, and, and taking the integral over our area to give us that force.